you're Anika and I'm here to do a wig review for you guys and say I feature a wig by Sensational and it's part and it's a part of the Feather and Flare collection and I have her in the name Jordan and the color is T1B slash 30 and this is how Jordan looks on the stock car and I believe this is a new wig that recently came out now this is a lace front wig there is lace to be cut and there is it is the soft type of lace but you do not have to um, use adhesive to for it not to roll up on you throughout the day the cap construction um is your standard cap construction for lace front wig is two combs in the front near this parting area over here comb in the back with adjustable straps my bigger size head girls you may can get away with this one um i feel like the cap is pretty big, big so i think you can get away with this wig uh, as far as the color this is a beautiful dr30 i have i don't think i reviewed a dr30 or bought a dr30 um recently you know anytime soon this was all the rage maybe a few years ago i think this hair is dark rooted throughout as you can see near the part of the area it's that 1b color and then in the back it is 1b and it does feature baby hairs in the front and the back so you can um i believe pull this wig up into like a ponytail or so maybe a half ponytail and you can have your baby hair showing at the back um so it does come with that option as well the party area you can only wear this um, parting, as you see I have. If you try to um, turn the part, it's just the wig is not going to look right if you would try to do that. Unless, of course, you know you're good at style of wig and you're about that life. And you can do that, but if not, if you're like me, then, you know, you got to wear the part as it's meant to be, as far as it's meant to be. That's the way you see it right now. Now, um, this bang is definitely um, a heavy bang. Now, this bang... Even though it's heavy, it does not have filler hair, but I do not like this bang area. Now, if this wig, can you picture it? If it was like that, okay, I could deal with it. If it was like flat, if it looks flatter, I think it'll be able to go. But since it's so high, like I, I don't care for that. And my other wig um, by this line, and within the same line, the same way. So I guess that's why it's called the feather and flare. This, this is like the feather and the flare. So this wig is definitely feather and flare. Anyway, let's get into the texture. The texture is silky, tangling shading. I did not get either yet, but I did just plop this on my head, but I'm sure over time it will do both because it is a synthetic wig. As far as the style, it's just like some big barrel curls at the bottom and it just curled it. This this is what this wig really looks like. Um, It's not as wavy. Like, it's, it's like wavy right here on the stock car, but it's not as wavy in real life it is on the stock car. But this wig is definitely not my favorite. It's not a wig for I need to go out and run and get. But anyway, I'm going to do a 360 of the wig, a close-up on the party and the length. And before I get into that, I almost forgot about the density. Now, this is all the hair pulled to the front. That's it. Um, it's not too thin and it's not too much because too much can look too wig and too thin. You can see tracks. You can't do either. I think it's a perfect density. I think you can get away from wearing this in the summer months um, for my girls. They like to wear longer hair all year round. But anyway, let's get back into that 360. All right, you guys, that concludes my video on Jordan and just so you all get a close up of that bang, this bang is pretty freaking amazing though. They did do a good job on this bang. I just wish it wasn't so puffy towards the um crown of the wig. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching my video. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the forgot. Just beautiful people later. Bye bye.